Welcome to a six minute full body post workout stretching routine. So sit in the middle of your mat and we are going to start in a seated butterfly position. So bring the soles of your feet together, keep your spine upright and let the knees fall apart. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. And with each exhale, try to relax your groin area a little bit more. Let go of the tension in your body. Focus on your breathing. There's nothing else for you to do. Just take some time to relax and feel your body. Now release and for a nice piriformis and glute stretch, grab your left leg, bring the left shin towards your chest, hook your foot in your right armpit and then rock your leg like a baby. Your right leg can be bent on the floor or maybe you want to extend it forward. See what works for you and you don't have to go as deep as I do. Be mindful of your knee joint, especially the left knee. Keep the left foot active, so pull the left toes towards your knee and keep the spine upright. Really feel into your hip. And from here we're going to switch sides. So bring your left leg on the floor and bring your right shin towards the chest. So either you hold your foot with your hand or hook your right foot with your left elbow. And again, start rocking your leg from left to right. Do a little bit of a twisting motion in your spine if you want to. And notice the sensation in your body while doing this. Keep breathing in through the nose and out of the nose. And with the exhale, slowly release, shake out your legs. And then we come into a 90-90 position. So both knees are bent 90 degrees. Pull the feet towards your knees and bring the knees far apart. And from here, we are going to twist to the left side of our mat. Both knees are on the floor and then we lean over over our left leg. So you can bring the palms to the floor or your fingertips and then lean over your left leg, over your left knee and try to release the tension in your hip joint. Be mindful of your knee as well in this position. And if you want to make this more dynamic, you can move from left to right or bounce up and down. Or maybe you want to lower your chest down towards the floor. Just do whatever works for you. And then slowly lift up, bring the hands behind your head, lift up the right knee first, then the left knee and change sides. So right leg is forward now and then lean over your right leg. And with each exhale, try to fall forward deeper into this position. If this puts a lot of stress on your knees, then back up a little bit, maybe bend your knees a little bit more. And this is a great way to work on your external and internal hip rotation. So try this from time to time and feel into your hips. With our next inhale, we bring our hands behind our back and come back into the middle. Shake out your legs and then find a prone position. So lay on your belly and we go into a Sphinx pose. For Sphinx pose, bring your elbows underneath your shoulders, 
Forearms are parallel to each other and the feet are untucked. Keep your glutes engaged and open up the front side of your body. Really reach the chest forward and up and don't compress your lower back. So pull a little bit forward with your hands so there's a little bit less pressure in your lower spine and if you want to go deeper you can always go into seal pose by extending both elbows but make sure you don't feel any pain in your lower back and from here we release down shake out our hips and then we come into a restless twist so extend your left arm to the side bring your right hand underneath your right shoulder and step your right foot over your left leg and roll over your left shoulder this is a really nice shoulder opener hip opener and also a great rotation in your spine this is one of my favorite positions if you been doing my videos for a while you know I like this feels so great this is a great full body stretch and then we come back into the middle again and we switch sides maybe shake out your hips first and then bring your right arm out to the right side step your left foot over the right leg and open up your hip and your shoulder just keep your head on the floor Maybe use a bolster and keep breathing into your belly. Deep breaths here and let your knee fall out to the side. And then come back into the middle. Release again, shake out the hips and then push up into a seated position. Sit onto your heels, sit upright and breathe for a moment. Let your palms face up. Relax your shoulders. Feel your breath. Feel your body. And stay in this present moment. can stay here for a few more minutes meditate do breath work i encourage you to do that if you are interested i have videos for that on my channel as well so check that out and thank yourself for showing up today and i thank you as well and i hope to see you next time namaste